joined by Dave Campbell's Texas Football Breaking Down, the 2022 Texas High School Football Playoff Brackets. That's Ishmael Johnson. I'm Greg Tepper. This is 5A Division One, which the most interesting <laughs> bracket in Texas high school football? I think so. I think this is the one that if you want to lock into one, if you if you're just like you're a you're a specific shopper and you're looking for one place to pay attention. I think you can do a lot worse than 5A Division One. I. I was about to say, you get the talent that you get with some of the big schools, right? But you also get some of the narrative, mm -hmm. right? And some of the, the heartwarming dream story. We'll get this to that. This is the narrative story. Yes. This is the narrative practice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But well, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, you are here. Oh, you're, 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 you're <laughs> a lot. Uh, but yeah, no, let's get into it, man. Let's okay, get into let's it. start with Region 1. Region 1, I think the everyone's going to pay attention to Alito, and understandably sure. so. District champions moving up to Division uh, 1, but looking the part, winning their district uh, out there in District 3. I'll just say this. I think that their reward for winning their district is maybe the toughest draw of, of the bracket. I was about to say, you get, I mean, one, Shoemaker's not a kick in the no, just a, uh, you can't kick them down the road. No. Of course, you get Lubbock Cooper potentially in area, Midlothian uh -huh. potentially coming out of this side of the region. I think that's definitely the harder part. This first round matchup, Red Oak, Denton Ryan, right? Denton Ryan, we've seen slipping up a little bit mm -hmm. this year. Red Oak, they could easily fall to Red Oak. Amarillo, Tascosa, as we know, once it gets to playoff time, like, uh, once you start, <laughs> Tascosa is that one team that anybody in DFW or anybody in up, they start playing, he's like, I don't know what's happening with his offense, what's going on. They could end up at a regional final as well, so. I, I think you're, you're spot on, and that, that, both these three, four matchups up here, Red Oak, Denton Ryan, and Burleson Centennial. That's a good, yeah. And you want to talk about a stylistic clash here. Sure. Between Burleson Centennial, who's going to run that kind of wing T mm -hmm. offense and, you know, very the flex bone offense. Going up against Lake Bell is going to throw the ball up to Michael Hudson oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fun here, and there's there's so many different styles that, again, again, let's re like, like retrench ourselves the point. Alito's got to be the favorite, yeah. I think, in my opinion. For sure. With that said, I think that there are, if you want to dream on teams, there's plenty of teams to choose from here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Region 2. Down here in Region 2, uh, the I think this is maybe the deepest region yeah. in the state. Uh, specifically, you've got the number one team in the state, the Longview, the Longview Lobos, but they did not get a particularly easy draw. Crosby in the first round, Crosby's another team that's been very high variance. Like mm -hmm. When they play their paper, they're really good. Had a long road trip to Longview, though. We're still lone star in the second round. You made a mistake letting them slip into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And then you're talking about, you know, at that point, I think they'd be the favorite. Yeah. But this is the, the, they definitely got to put in the, the toughest part here. Um, and then up here, this is a battle royale, man. This yeah, is, yeah. These are teams that maybe aren't those brand names that Longview may be, but I'll tell you that, that between, Timber, uh, between Timberview, between Lancaster, between a team like Frisco Reedy, which is 10 0. There's a lot to like about reading, too. I saw that Lancaster game at Longview earlier this year. That's probably one of my game, might be my game of the year, if I'm being honest. That was, I would love to see that game again in the regional final because I don't know if Lancaster will lose twice. Yeah. That game was really close. They did a great job on Jalen Hale. They have the corners to cover and make you beat the, uh, they're going to make Longview beat them with Taylor Tatum again. And so if that ends up being the regional final matchup, I probably would pencil Longview as the favorite, but it's hard to beat a team twice. It's hard to beat a team as talented as Lancaster twice. So uh, right now, you know, I'd probably pencil those two in as the regional final favorites. But like you mentioned, especially this top half up here, anybody can really come out. I really like this Timberview team. I think that they are they're they're number two in the state for a reason. They have been fantastic all year long. But are they battle tested? That's the yeah. real question. And then just one more thing: this game, Port Arthur Memorial and McKinney North. North has to go to Port Arthur. Okay, <laughs> so. The 5A district, the, the 5A home field advantage rule uh, coming into play for the Titans there. Let's go over to Region 3. Region 3 here, uh, I, I, again, I think you're looking, I think this is maybe the mo most wide open region yeah. in the sense that I think there's a few different teams you can get in. I think you're, a lot of it's going to be focused on the uh, uh, the Brazos Valley teams here out of a and Consolidated and College Station, which of course played a banger. It all is all for naught because Tiebreaker ended up getting a and Consolidated the top, the top uh, seed. But I do think that between District 11 and District 10 are probably the, the place you keep an eye on. Also, a team like Smith and Valley. I've seen I was about to say, Smith and Valley, speaking of quiet teams, like they're mm -hmm. kind of a team that just kind of quietly was pretty good all year. Mm -hmm. And they get a Cedar Park team who's struggling in the first round, so they're probably going to be favored out of that one. I mean, obviously, Mandel Waltrip, probably going to be the favorite out of that matchup, too. So, I mean, until this third round, potentially against Consolidated, right, or Fulcher, we'll talk about mm -hmm. them as well. You know, I, I like Smithson Valley probably right now as like a light penciled favorite coming out of this region. Uh, Angleton, uh, District 10 is very like hard to parse. Yeah. Angleton, Fullshire, I think, have an opportunity to make a deep run, but they'd have to run into probably the, the, the Brazos Valley teams in a while. I must shout out yeah. my team of the year. This oh, is yeah. my favorite team. This is my darling. Gallison Ball, okay? Unbeaten, 10-0. They've allowed 14 points all season. 
Don't look at the strain of the schedule. Just, just enjoy it, okay? But they'll get this will be like it's funny, right out of the shoot, Magnolia West is probably their toughest game of the year. So we'll find out real quick, but I just think they're a fascinating story. Speaking of fascinating stories, to region four we go. Let's do it. Okay. The question all year long has been can a team from the Rio Grande Valley make it to a state semifinal? Can they win the region four? Well, Ish, we'll find out, and we'll find out sooner as opposed to later. Yeah, we got two. Mm-hmm. We have two. We have Edinburgh Vela. We got PSJ North. Mm-hmm. We'll find out soon because second round match, they'll be favorites in these first round matchups against West Coast East and Donna. Second round matchup, they get Corpus Christi Miller and Corpus Christi Vets, the two other yeah. potential favorites out of this region. And so, basically, the winner of this game right here, you can probably pencil them in yes. to the regional final. But at this point, if, the, if it's Vela... Or North, or and North, yeah. right? Potentially, we could have a Valley Regional Final. Mm-hmm. Be sick. <sighs> Be sick. Now, that's the thing. If you look at the four best teams in this region, yeah, it's one. It's in some order, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So they'll all see each other real quick. Sure. I don't want to bury District 13, District 14, but but District uh, District 15 uh, and uh, rather District 14, the, the top half, and District 15 are very clearly the power yeah. here in region in region four, and their contenders, their district champions will, and, and runners up, will collide in the second round. That's when we'll really learn what the shape of this really is. So that's kind of all eyes on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, a team from the Rio Grande Valley hasn't made a, a state semifinal in a long time, <laughs> so it would be a huge, huge deal. So we take a look at five A Division one as a whole. Uh, again, Alito, but not a walkover up here in Region One. Mm-hmm. Region Two, Longview, but not a walkover. Mm-hmm. Region Three, I mean, like pick your pick. I was about to say, about yeah. Three, four different teams you can pick here, and then it's Corpus Christi versus the Valley in Region Four. Yeah, I think, you, like I mentioned at the start, you have the narrative, you have the brand names, right? And also, I mean, let's dream, right? Of course, Longview potentially make it. First of all, if we get Longview and Lido, oh yeah, that's a powerhouse right there. Like you have you have the modern power versus the historic power, right? You have fan bases that are going to be insane. Obviously, we can talk about fan bases mm-hmm. right here, right? Corp- whether it's Corpus, whether it's the Valley, you're going to have a fan base mm-hmm. right coming out of here into the state semifinal. And I'm excited to see somebody new yeah. here, right? Like think of any of these teams aside from maybe College Station, we haven't seen or mm-hmm. Manville, obviously. We haven't seen these names mm-hmm. come out of here, right? If we get a Smithson Valley coming out of Region 3, I think that's going to be very fascinating to see. It's going to be fantastic to watch. We're going to see it unfold. We'll have you covered every step of the way at TexasFootball.com.